So because I'm an absolute glutton for punishment, I'm going to keep on going. Because um, this first lesson is a lot, a lot of examples. So now I'm looking at stretches. If the number's at the front, it's in the y-axis. If it's inside the bracket, it's on the x-axis. But it's one over, and it's quite a tough one to see. I've got a better example where it shows you how it squishes it in more. Which you can't really tell. So what we got, so we've got our graph there, x squared. So we knew that that was x plus 1 squared minus 1. So now it wants four lots of it. So this stretches all your y values by 4. So it multiplies all your y values, stretches 1 by 4. doesn't change the x values, but it will change that y value there. So it multiplies all your y values by 4. So what you get is a much more stretched out graph. It still goes through 0 because 4 lots of nothing is nothing. But that would be minus 1, minus 4 this time. And that's a stretch parallel to the y-axis, or some people say in the y-direction, scale factor 4. Uh, what's this one then? So it's got a third. The one for you is a third, isn't it? So let's see what I've put here. So stretch scale factor of third parallel to the y axis. Uh, so instead of it being minus one, minus one, it's minus one, minus a third. It doesn't change your x values, it changes your y values. That's important in that. So just. Changes y values. There. Right, now then. Before we do this next one, I've been using the vertex. Well, that's minus 2 and that's 0. And I need to keep a track of that, what happens. So, this here, the 2, the way I see this is I'm cramming twice as much graph into the same area. So if you imagine like a, an old style like accordion, where they used to just like squish it from either end, that's what you're doing with the graph. So to get twice as much graph in the same area, I'm halving the x value where I plot it. And that's why we say it's a scale, uh, it's a stretch. That's about stretch. Scale factor a half parallel to the x-axis. Because to cram in twice as much graph, you have to plot it half as far across. So my original graph crossed at minus 2 and 0. So now that is going to be minus 1 because I'm dividing it by 2. So, so half the, there to make it fit in. So you've got one which is a third. So if you think, because you do the opposite with this one, because if it's two, you do a half. So it's, it's a third, you're doing three times as much. That's going to get you. So you've got a stretch scale factor three parallel to the x-axis. So instead of it being minus two, it should be minus six. That'll get you. There. So, so what's that, that page done? Let's try and do the let's try and do the next one. Come on, we can do this. There's loads. Oh, look at that one the other day. So what we've got now we've got reflection. The reflections are all right. I multiply by minus one. So that flips it in the x-axis. I change all my x um, signs around, so I change it in the y-axis. So I'm using that one again, so that was x plus one squared minus one. So this time that's gonna be upside down. So it's a reflection in the x-axis. Hold on, got to turn the page. So before the vertex was at minus one, minus one. So now the vertex is minus one plus one. Yeah, minus one plus one. 
still crosses at two and zero as well, by the way. Then there's that one there, where there's a reflection, because I'm switching. Instead of doing it at minus two, I'm doing it at plus two. Probably a good way to do it. Um, we've got someone describing transformations now. God, there's loads in this. Gotta stop there, I think. <laughs>